Hello students good morning students now it's time for your commerce class and from your commerce book we started the chapter nature and objectives of business and in my yesterday's topic i discussed with you about the business is an economic activity and economic objectives of business along with this i already discussed with you some key terms like business peer recognition restrictive trade practices diversification unfair trade practices etc so today i'm going to discuss with you the rest two objectives of business like social and human objectives now see students social and human objectives my so students my today's topic all about the objectives of business yesterday i discussed with you economic objectives today i'm going to discuss with you social and human objectives of business so here are some points to remember student firstly check out Number one point: Activities undertaken to produce, distribute, and exchange goods and services with a view to earn profit is known as business. So, simply, business involves three activities: production, distribution, and exchange of goods and services. Now, second point is: In modern time, business cannot be defined in the terms of profit only. In previous time, the business only managed to earn profits. but nowadays it has become an integral part of society so student if the business nowadays integral part of society it means firstly the business man satisfy the needs wants of the consumer then expect any profit the third point here is in the modern business includes creating a customer base for itself firstly the person creates the customer for business second converting economic resources into goods and services and the funds firstly customer creation after customer creation the second point converting the funds into production part and the third one is innovating new products and services so that these can reach the customers means innovation is also nowadays required if you want to compete with your competitors and want to survive in the business world so after this objectives of business the objectives of business define the activities it can carry on objectives of business must be proper and ensure reasonable profits profit with the service to the society now here the point is for profit with service to the society means expect profit but after satisfying the consumer needs consumer wants profit as an means and not as an and profit must not be the objective of the business so multiple objectives required regarding the business so here students some keywords i am going to use in my lecture so students firstly know about the meaning of these words number 1 word here is malnutrition bad health that is a result of not having enough food or enough of the right kind of food when someone is not receiving proper nutritious food is considered as malnutrition second word here is vocational training training that emphasizes skills and knowledge required for particular job functions such as typing or data entry like in case of data operator you know that the typing speed must so provide training regarding typing or a trade such as the carpentry or welding the third word here is sanitation the equipment and the system that keep places clean especially by removing human waste fourth word is adulteration the action of making something poor in quality by addition of some substances like in pulses when stones mixed and in case of milk water mix is considered as adulteration the most commonly adulterated food includes milk and milk products wheat flour pulses oils all cooking oils such as the mustard oil olive oil ghee honey etc overcharging to ask somebody to pay too much money for something when the seller charge higher price like mrp 110 but the seller charge 120 is considered as overcharging and the next word is artificial scarcity now what is artificial scarcity scarcity is the limited supply of resources at the surface level artificial scarcity is any type of resources restriction that does not occur naturally like simply students holding case 
होर्डिंग ऑफ समथिंग बाय द सेलर सो दैट इन द मार्केट द सिचुएशन ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल स्केसिटी क्रिएटेड एंड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज एग्जैगरेट to make something seem larger better than it really is like in case of advertisement they are showing that product is of very good quality but actually when you receive the product it is not as of that specified quality which is already in the advertisement shown to you next eighth word here is cohesiveness the quality of forming a united whole and the ninth word here is offense a crime and illegal action the act of upsetting or insulting somebody eradicate to destroy or get rid of something completely incentive something that encourages you to do something twelfth word here is provident fund an investment fund contributed by the employees employers and contribution to by the employees employers and state out of which a lump sum is provided to each employee on retirement simply students here provident fund is when employer state contributed even employ also from the salary contributed at the end the whole lump sum provided to the employee at the time of retirement next word is gratuity a large gift of money that is given to an employee when he leaves the job or retires after a certain number of years 14th word here is democracy a system in which the government of country is elected by the people like india 15th word pension money that is paid regularly by a government or a company to somebody who has stopped working means retired because of old age or who cannot work because he she is ill so here company or a government provide monthly basis pension money to the retired person and the next word is cordial so pleasant and friendly here are the all the meanings of the word which which are in my lecture i'm going to use so students the second objective of business is social objective means business responsibility toward the society because business is using the resources of the society number 1 point under social objective supply of quality products avoidance of unfair trade practices employment generation social service payment of government dues avoidance of pollution so before that i will discuss with you all the points but before that see students one business one company bata bata limited is multinational footwear and fashion accessory manufacturer and retailer based in lausanne switzerland a family owned business the company is organized into three business units bata bata industrials and aw lab so csr focus areas here csr students means corporate social responsibility so the bata's responsibility here number 1 point eradicating hunger poverty malnutrition promoting preventive health care and sanitation including contribution to the swachh bharat kosh set up by the central government for the promotion of sanitation and making available safe drinking water second vocational programs to enhance the employability skills of the beneficiaries third promoting education fourth promoting gender equality empowering the women setting up old age homes day care center and the fifth ensuring the environmental sustainability ecological balance and protection of flora and fauna so these all are the responsibility by bata towards the society this company shows in the file so student here i'm going to take one more example that is png very very famous company procter and gamble environmental sustainability has been a part of our business for decades to ensure that you can enjoy the product you love today without sacrificing tomorrow we have put goals in place to help us work toward our long term vision so 
what are the csr corporate social responsibility of this company number 1 reduce our footprints protect the forest and improve the livelihood of palm small holders small holders means farmer so the company taken the responsibility of forest also to protect the forests and also the farmers second one is educate employees integrate sustainability in the business plans and rewards means to protect to educate to provide rewards to the employees is the second responsibility taken by this company and the third responsibility ensure packaging won't find its way to the oceans means proper disposal of waste materials and recycle fourth point here is we were building homes with the habitat for humanity that use about 7 tons of recycled plastic each so here are the corporate social responsibility of png now the point here is social objective see the explanation students after the examples service first and profit next should be the motto of every business so in the modern business firstly serve then earn profits a business is a part of society it should follow the ethical and the moral norm of the society a business operates in this society it comes in contact with various groups of this society such as the owners the workers customers suppliers and government so students according to your book social objective i am going to now discuss with you the first point supply of quality products so here see students following are the main social objectives of business enterprise supply of quality product consumer are very conscious of the quality and they accept value for expect value for their money yes when you spend money you want something you want satisfaction value for their money so quality may mean different for different products like suppose see student for products like refrigerator quality means durability customer wants consumer wants durability like four products like pressure cooker so consumer want quality me in the sense safety in the sense of safety and in case of products like pulses quality means purity so here means different product different qualities the consumer wants it totally depends upon the nature of the product so again see student refrigerator quality means durable durability and pressure cooker means safety for a customer quality and for pulses purity business enterprise should maintain long term relation with the consumers by supplying the right quality products at right places at right time so the point here is number 1 to provide supply the proper quality products to the consumer is the responsibility of each and every business so that the consumer after satisfaction purchase same product from you again and again now the next point after supply is avoidance of unfair trade practices see again the chart here the next point is avoidance of unfair trade practices see the explanation here business enterprise should avoid unfair trade practices like adulteration overcharging artificial scarcity exact rating and advertisement about the products as society will not accept these practices i already discussed with you what is adulteration adulteration simply means that when someone is not receiving proper nutritious food overcharging when the seller charge higher price artificial scarcity means hoarding when the seller hoard the goods and after that provide at a higher price in case of shortage in the market and exaggerating an advertisement means firstly in the advertisement show you everything so of so so of good quality but when you put when ultimately you receive the product then the product is not of as such quality which you want and which 
एक्सप्रेस शोन इन द एडवर्टीजमेंट नाउ सी स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट अनफेयर एंड रिस्ट्रिक्टिव ट्रेड प्रैक्टिस नॉट ओनली लीड टू लोस ऑफ लॉस ऑफ गुडविल ऑफ द बिजनेस एंटरप्राइज बट इज ऑल्सो अ पनिशेबल ऑफेंस इन द आईज ऑफ लॉ सो इट इज अ पनिशेबल ऑफेंस ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट यू नो दैट नाउ अड इज कंज्यूमर फोरम अवेलेबल डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल स्टेट लेवल नेशनल लेवल सो कंज्यूमर एनजीओ आर अवेलेबल फॉर दीज सोशल सर्विसेस बिजनेस एंटरप्राइज शुड अंडरटेक वेरिट कम्युनिटी सर्विसेस प्रोजेक्ट लाइक स्पॉन्सरिंग स्कूल एंड कॉलेजेस फॉर बेटर एजुकेशन establishing hospitals libraries or charitable dispensaries or sports academies so you know that students now even a businessman also provide scholarships to the meritorious students also now the next point according to your chart is payment of government dues is also the responsibility of the businessman or business so payment of government dues every business enterprise should pay tax and duties that is income tax gst etc to the government at the right time in a diligent way so these taxes are source of revenue to the government and are spent on the various public welfare schemes for betterment of the community you know that the for government only source the major sources taxes which the government collected from the corporate sectors or individuals and then invest the money in government hospitals government schools colleges and for infrastructure part like for highways roads so it is the responsibility of the business to shows the accurate picture of income to the income tax department for taxation purpose and also to provide the tax on time to the government now the next social objective is avoidance of pollution so industrialization has lead to the pollution so it is the moral duty of the business enterprise to use environment friendly techniques and adopt such methods of production which will not affect the environment adversely so these measures are required like install low flame fixtures purchase energy efficient equipment electronic chimneys these all equipment helps a lot in pollution free environment so these all are the social objectives of the business here conclusion also provided see student business enterprise are integral part of society it uses the resources of the society and earns profit by selling the products or providing the services to the members of the society it means that ki business using the resources of the society now it's the responsibility of the business is to provide something to the society out of the profits so it's owns to the society thus it becomes obligatory on the part of business enterprise to work for the benefit of the society so these all are the social objectives of the business students now the third objective is human objective from its name it is clear human means when the business deal with the human beings under human beings you know that employees available laborers is available and the point covered under this objectives labor welfare participation developing the persona human or individual objectives are related to the employees of the organization employees or human resources significantly contribute to success of a business enterprise and to get maximum result they should be motivated all through so it means that ki they play very important role in the business and if you want the maximum result from them motivate them with the financial incentive and also to provide promotions business has some responsibility towards the customers workers investor they all are the human beings now the next point here is students labor welfare business enterprise should not treat laborers as a machines instead the dignity of the laborer should be recognized and proper arrangement should be made for their safety and social security by providing fair pay packages and group coinsness and ensure the job satisfaction so labor also human beings so it is better if the business not to treat 
them just as a machine and understand the feelings of uh, feelings of the laborers and all to satisfy them so here the pay package is available to provide incentives for performance provident fund benefits of gratuity pension to provide and life and accidental insurance and housing facility now here are the key points sympathy towards the workers proper working condition for laborers involving the workers in the management function and sharing the profit with the workers so workers the laborers also plays very important role in your business then treat them very well provide them proper sanity proper clean hygienic places proper canteen facility and proper wages after that they are satisfied so the next point is participation so it means that the employees participation in the management also must to take some decision and to share the ideas new ideas for the success of the business peer recognition and respect is very necessary and these can be done by encouraging employees to offer valuable suggestions take initiative and allow them to participate in decision making process workers participation in management will brings industrial democracy and maintain the cordial employer employee relation now the next point is developing the personal employees must grow professional and this require professionally the, and this require the re, proper training and development business enterprise should impart training on a regular basis to the to keep their employees updated and happy so you know that ki students previously we are using the registers manually you are doing accounting but now a day software is available computerized accounting available so it's the responsibility of the business department to provide the training how to operate how to work on the computer is called training you are providing the skill to work in the business enterprise should put the right person in the right job and this will make the job interesting and reduce the monotony so here are the some homework questions students briefly explain the significance of human objective why is creating customer an important objective explain the social objective of the business explain the human objectives of the business and also refer this link for more better understanding